Hey YouTube, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to share with you all some simple ways to counter turtling. Everybody knows how meta turtling is right now, and although it's annoying, turtling is really the only way to stay safe from all directions, and whatever complaints you may have against it, you can't deny that it is a really useful strategy because it allows you to control the fight uh, and gives you access to editing all around you. So because of all these reasons, I often advocate turtling if you're trying to play for the win. With all that being said though, turtling isn't unbeatable. Since there are going to be times when you need to break into somebody else's one by one, I thought today that I'd show you three simple ways you can take on people who are camped inside one by ones. I really want to stress that these ways are meant to be simple. A lot of YouTubers have shown some crazy ways to counter turtling and you know, props to them for finding this stuff, but in a lot of cases these tricks just aren't practical for the average player. So with this video, I really just wanted to show you guys some techniques that you can actually apply to your games. Alright, so without further wait, here are three simple ways to counter turtling. Okay, so the first way to counter turtling is a strategy that allows you to get a wall replacement off in nearly any situation. So normally what happens if you just stand next to someone's one by one and try to break in with the wall, is they will replace the build before you can steal it, um, and you won't be able to break into their one by one. But with this strategy, you can actually hit four different parts of their build, all from standing in the same spot, so it's nearly impossible to counter from inside the turtle. Okay, so to pull this off, what you want to do is go to the corner of the enemy's box and place a pyramid. Then from there, edit out the corner closest to the enemy, and you'll have a sort of diagonal ramp that you can stand on, and if you're on the top of it, you have access to not only both sides of their turtle, but also the roof as well. On top of that, um, this edit will give you a little bit of cover in case they try to edit out quickly, and if those things weren't enough, this trick even lets you hit the floor under their pyramid if you hit the edge of their box. So even if they double roof their box, you can steal their floor and then roof to get in, which an opponent is never going to expect. So for all those reasons, this is my go-to strategy for breaking into one by ones and if you're going to take anything from this video, take this away, because it is super versatile and nearly impossible to stop from the enemy's perspective. The second simple strategy to countering turtles has to do with once you get into their one by one. So a lot of times, even if you're able to steal one of their walls, the person in the turtle can just place a stair to block you off. So to counter this, instead of editing the wall and then shooting after you break into their one by one, which is what everybody expects, you can actually edit the wall and then immediately place a stair. Not only will this stop them from placing a stair of their own and hiding even more, it might even block an incoming shot um, that they fire at you right after you make your edit. From there, they're going to be very confused, and they probably won't have a clue where they are, which should allow you time to finish making a stair edit and get an easy kill. The idea of placing a stair to counter one by ones though, doesn't stop here. As you may have seen, players like Atlantis Kuna have used stair placements to bait out opponents. Basically how it works is you just stand next to their one by one and sort of try to look dumb um, by standing there with your build menu out. They will probably think you're clueless and go for an edit kill, but little do they know you will instantly place a stair down which will block them off and basically they'll be completely vulnerable. Okay, the last simple trick to get into somebody's one by one has to do with baiting, but this strategy is also super simple and it's really effective. Just like the last tip, the whole idea here is you're going to try to play dumb by drinking a shield potion or you can reload um, or do anything that you think will make them let their guard down. Then when they aren't ready, you cancel whatever action you're doing and edit on them or shoot them. Once again, the main goal here is to confuse your opponents and if you do this right, you'll be able to get a clean shot on them before they can even think twice about it. With all these strategies, it really comes down to playing mind games to confuse your opponents and this is going to allow you to gain control of their one by one. I think the biggest thing to remember whether you're in a one by one or outside it is to never let your guard down. So always be ready if they were to make an edit and shoot at you. All right, that is going to wrap things up for this video. Once again, I'd just like to reiterate that these tips are meant to be simple strategies to counter people in one by ones. So if you guys want to see more complicated stuff, there are some really cool guys out there. Um, and I'll have them linked in the description, but hopefully because these tips are more simple, 
they will be actually applicable to your games and you'll be able to use them to help counter people who are turtling. Alright, thanks so much for watching. If this video helped you, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you have any questions or want to say anything to me, feel free to leave a comment. Um, and I usually try to get back to everything that comes out um, near the date when I publish the video. Alright, other than that, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next one. I don't think I'm ready, no, not for that jelly, my honey, like Winnie the Pooh. That strawberry got me very temporarily out of order in a booth. I don't got nothing to do. Feel like I'm stuck in a loop. What's in your fridge? You ain't got water. Okay, the handy will do.